My assertion would be that if you put more energy into your handstand presses, backed off the cleans a little bit, just a little bit, that's where the time's going to come from, right? You only have so much training time. So look at the energy you're putting into the Olympic lifts, pull some of that away, and give it to getting a bigger deadlift and spending more time inverted on your hands. Now I've taken a little bit of load off the back here. I'm going to put it right back on on the GHD. I know gyms that don't have GHDs. I think that's nuts. Affiliates that consider themselves strong, that don't have glute ham developers, or have one and don't use it. It's a space-taking pig that costs a lot. You're limited on what you can do on it, like whatever. You need it, you want it. They're really, really cool. Look at how many times a day, how often we're extending this, this big axis here, right? Look where we're at, right? The hip, this thing. Opening it, opening it, opening it. Where do we open it under load? Deadlift, squat, lunge, jerk, thruster. How about closing it? Well, we get on the ab mat sit-ups and uh, there's knees to, you know, blah, blah, blah. The interesting thing about all that bar work, all that knees to elbow, toes to bar, all that shit, you get even halfway pull up strong and you learn to look back and lean back and live, lose a little momentum and it's really no longer an ab exercise. That move can get so easy that you'd like to put a thousand in for me. The only place I can catch you and really catch you on that midline is the glute ham developer and L-sets. So I might add this too. GHD sit-ups and L-sets. I'd put more in. I'd put more in. I'd work more on on the, on the static through the midsection, which I think is the greatest contra midsection contraction there is, and in, the, and in our total dynamics on that, on that sit-up.